hi guys uh, welcome back to my another video over here and hope you all are doing well so this is a, a second continue part for sql server clustering so we can see my node is already up sql1 and sql2 and if you go to sql2 uh, you can see my server is already up and sql server is already up and let me connect and if you go to SQL 1, uh, here I haven't installed my SQL server but the clustering feature is already installed and it's up and running. You can see my Dix and my node SQL 1 and SQL 2. Uh, it's ready to go for installation. And we can go over here and see our database. It's already connected and we can go to database and we can see we have one database over here adventure walk 2012 and all our data is being database is up and running so we go over here and install a failure node so here it's option add node to sql server failover clustering just click this one and zero failed and no warning just click ok so just enter the product key or evaluation and just click accept the license and click next so we don't have the internet so we are not up checking for update online just click next so it may take some time as we go and see it will run a installation file on the system. So we are back here and our validation uh, has complete and it says 18 pass, 0 failed and here are 4 warning and you can just ignore as we don't have internet and maybe some have not updated. So if any validation or anything over your field, uh, you can just go to your cluster and run a validate cluster. So the error may be resolved over here. And just click next. So it can detect my SQL server instance name is my my as you can see over here is my my so that one is correct and just click next So here is your IP. Just click next. So, but the server is happy. so here you need to provide a password. SQL Server Integration Service. You can use a local account or a domain account. And under here. You see your uh, SQL Server Analysis Service is need to specify a password over here and over here database engine also and for a server agent. So you can choose manual or automatic or disable. So this one manual automatic manual automatic manual so just click next so if you want then you just click next if you check for rules to add a node to a cluster and here zero fell and all of the operation have been passed just click next 
and it's ready to install let's install so it may take some time so let's just go and pause our video and I'll be back soon so we are back here and our installation has finished already and you can see it's already installed it successfully so just click close and you can close this one and let's just go to our start and SQL Server Management Studio ping to taskbar and let's open it configuration manager and go to services and you can see your all services are running and if you see any service that have been stopped you can just right click and start the services so my database is my my and database engine and windows base. Just, let's just connect so here is my database mm, sql server adventure work 2012 and just go and view the table same table over here and just run a new query over here and just type a simple query select everything from person dot address execute so you can see our database is running well and we can execute the query and you can see all the table is running over here and let's just go to our SQL Server 2 and run our management studio same so here you may get an error because the, this database the same database have been already connected over here on another server so what I need to do is for failover uh, I need to bring this server down so if my SQL server 1 goes down stop the service so if my SQL server 1 goes down then the SQL server 2 will be automatically updated and it will take over the database so there so this I make down is a skill super one So here you can see again, uh, I have a same database over here uh, within SQL Server 2. So even my SQL Server 1 is down and I have a same database over SQL Server 2. 
which cause a high availability so if one server scrolls down and my another server is still running and can provide a data to a user so i think that's all for this video hope you enjoyed this one thank you thank you for watching